Hey guys, this is me, I'm back on Science Tree, and today I am going to be shooting a video on how to make an easy paper Newton's cradle, which is basically this pendulum thing that uh, is the uses the metal balls. And yeah, today I'll be showing you how to make a proper little Newton's cradle, and it's very simple to make, so stay tuned to the end. But you do need some special materials like the balls and the our. Uh, plastic rods to make the structure the skeleton itself so here's how it looks from the side very normal so this is my third episode for the science craft series so I hope you enjoy it and yeah that's it see you in the end uh, as well because I'll be doing some really different experiments towards the end that is of course gonna be using some magnets to increase the force of the balls Okay, I'm really enjoying playing with this. So I'll see you when that happens. Enjoy the video. All right, so let's start with the materials we're gonna we are gonna need to make this Newton's cradle, which is basically a ball pendulum thing. So for that, we're gonna be using barely any paper, so it can't be called a paper craft. We're going to need some of these metal balls and. If you don't have metal balls, I have a way to get them and I bought these one from like a store where they sell magnets and balls. So yeah, I have a ton of them and um, if you don't have them, you can still use metal balls that are inside of these white tipexes. So if you hear some fall uh, like moving around in there, those are basically tiny tiny uh, metal balls and they are smaller than these but they still work so if you are in desperate need then they have two balls inside one I'm pretty sure I've like dissected tons of tipexes to know that by now alright I'm also going to be using these uh, normal pen uh, finished pen items pen uh, covers uh, to make the skeleton or the frame of the Newton's cradle itself so I'm really excited to make this because it's gonna be my first time and if it does seemingly work it's gonna be a really awesome uh, thing to put in my house so I have my hot glue heating up right here so I think we are gonna need yeah four on each corners so before that let's just do this let's put some hot glue in there In one corner we're just gonna straight up start right now because I I've like lost all the patience already and then let's put some more hot glue in there now uh, we are gonna need like one more piece of thread attaching our balls because currently there's only one thread attached and I hot glued it in there so we're gonna need two one going on the other direction so yeah let's see if that actually even works while that is uh, heating up I mean cooling down let's put one more in there Okay, like this, I will uh, stick all of the uh, rods in there and I'll see when it's done, I guess. Alright, so I'll have this drying while I do some of the things with the balls, but for now I'll put this aside. Now let's do the next step, which is basically we need an equal length of thread, like five of the threads. So approximately that big, let's go bigger for this one, like that big. So let's put the measurements down and then let's start cutting them out. There's two. Three. Four. 
before and it's very cold outside so I think the threads are behaving a bit weirdly they're they're acting like solids and I'll look at that okay so I've got five pieces of thread ready uh, they look like chromosomes for some reason like there were two you know like that right okay uh, why am I talking about that okay let's attach these to these then shall we and for some reason the glue is not drying quick either I think the weather is not that great uh, so how are we going to do this let's put a thread in there first and then let's put the glue over it let's wait for some time yeah I think I will resume the camera recording once I've got all five glued together I mean uh, when all the four threads are glued to the four balls I think I'll be back once that's done alright I have all threads glued up now we have to attach this main thing to the main thing right no attach these balls to the main thing yeah that that's it so I don't have a particular plan for this but I'm just gonna wing it yeah there's there's nothing mathematical we can do here right or like the calculations of where I should put it or something like that yeah now I'm just gonna wing it oh, oops dropped it so I do have a plan what I'm going to do is take two of these put them there like this hold it with two of my fingers and then hot glue it with the other hand okay so that's about a decent size come to me hot glue just a tiny amount because I wanted to try it as quick as possible all right that's done one down four more to go so I'm gonna do this off camera as well because I need a lot of patience and a lot of focusing and I need to get my head on camera so yeah it's not gonna be a good view I'm gonna put it off camera of me putting all four pieces together and I'll see you when it's done once more oops my gloves are stuck no okay that's what I feared it's falling apart already great oh no it isn't I uh, that was just my intuition okay now I'll do that off camera and I'll see you when that's done all right so this seems pretty dry now I'm pretty sure I made a uh, cradle Newton's cradle perfectly fine but it doesn't work as expected although it does have like two or three swings but that's at the maximum so this is how it looks from the top it looks very professional and from these sides it looks like this just like an ordinary pendulum of course and yeah so I'm just quickly gonna show you how it looks when I swing it so let's just swing it from a really small distance and if I do that only one of them bounces out well that is what's supposed to happen but it's supposed to like throw back the momentum back to this one so the potential can change into kinetic and once more kinetic into potential potential kinetic but only once it only happens once and if I go a bit farther away so there's like two almost almost three complete swings and if I go super far away it's I don't know even know what it is yeah it's three swings if I go super far away but that's its 
maximum capacity I'm pretty sure the problem here is the balls don't have enough weight they are very heavy balls they are like complete metal uh, but still they don't look like they are heavy enough because all of them are moving together there's no proper momentum on only one ball or stuff like that and yeah of course it's not gonna work with only two uh, an ordinary Newton's cradle is supposed to like swing two and then output two swings like that but uh, I'm pretty sure that's not gonna happen in this one let's see yeah it's not gonna happen it it tends to like try to do that but yeah it, it does do that actually I can do slow-mo but I'm too lazy to do that so yeah this is pretty much our Newton's cradle if you wanted to try at home you can go ahead it's very simple to make if you have the right materials yeah it's pretty fun and good looking from the side as well I don't know how it looks from the top actually I haven't tested that so let's go from one more okay from the top it looks a bit weird because everything is moving around uh, so I'll quickly show it to you guys how it looks from the bottom so here's the Newton's cradle and I am going to do one swing look at that it does look pretty professional pretty scientific actually yeah not bad but I do have one more experiment I want experiment I wanted to try it's with magnets so it's not that I have never made a pendulum like this I've like tried a lot of times with only one string and it ne never seemed to work except when I used magnets so uh, er everything that's happening here is the potential I mean the potential energy right here is transforms into kinetic and stuff like that and if you put like a magnet in there or if you like change one of these balls into a complete magnet then the magnetic energy itself is going to turn into potential I mean the kinetic and it's going to be really sick like if I drop it from this height then the farther ball is going to like swing all the way up here so yeah it just multiplies the energy or some doesn't really do that but you know it converts even the magnetic into kinetic and stuff like that I don't know the science behind it myself completely I just watched a random YouTube video for help so yeah yeah I'll quickly bring the magnet and show you what I mean so what I have right here is a is the tipex ball that I was talking about look at that it's so tiny compared to that and it's magnetic because I have two tiny magnets in the center come on focus focus there it is okay so I'm trying to oops it fell off so I'll put the ball aside then so I've got two tiny magnets right there I'll try and attach one of them actually I'll try and attach both of them on one end and I'm pretty sure that's not gonna work but still let's let's see what what's gonna happen if I do this uh, sort of works better maybe but just a tiny bit so that is not what we're trying to do we have to put the magnet in there like this so now it should do madness it should do a pretty cool madness let's see so we have to drop it from there. Three, two, one. Oh, it missed. Great, it missed. Oh, come on, work. Okay, now it should work, right? Three, two, one. What? It didn't work. Let me put you guys up in the camera seat once again. Okay, so. I'm going to let oh god damn it I messed up once again so I was going to let go right in perfect time I even like made the angles perfect okay one more test run okay 
Okay, I'm going to let it go now. In three, two, one, and of course I want you guys to see that the ball goes farther away from this point. So, but it's not going to push the energy backwards. It's trying to, but the magnet's too strong, so this ball is not going to swing backwards. But this one is going to swing really far, so let's see it work in three, two, one. Okay, it missed. Great. It just missed. It literally missed. How unlucky can I get? Okay, let's go one more one more test. Oh wait, I think I'm using the opposite side of the magnet. Yes, there it is. Uh, first of all, I'm a dumb human being, so forgive all these stupid things I'm doing right here. And if you're like one of the scientists, or then I apologize for this stupid uh, construction I just made, especially the weird thing I'm trying to do right now. Okay, either way, enough talk. Let's do one more run. Three, two, one. Right there. I think it went pretty far, but yeah, would no one noticed that, so it was a weird little experiment. So that's about it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you got some inspiration to do some science. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment me down below. I said do next in my next video and share my videos. Thank you. Bye bye. Oh my God! Wait. So that's how you make it work. So you just need to like stop the center three on its in its original position. Okay, but on doing so, the energy gets transferred to my body, and it's not all that efficient, but it was still a very cool experiment. Now, that's it. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.